Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good. It was like. <laughs> all right, guys. Quiet. I know we're all excited. All right, here we go. Ready and action. So this was our question. Can we, a bunch of high schoolers, make a decent short film? Well, without money. We, we don't, we don't have any money. <laughs> well, it depends. What do we have access to? Fortunately for us, we were all enrolled in film and audio class at King Technical High School, which had a bunch of film equipment. So why not make a short film involving a bunch of film equipment? and let's have people fighting. So, once we got the idea, I sat down with Alex and we wrote the script. Because we knew from the very beginning that we wanted an epic fight scene, a large amount of pre-production was actually rehearsal. And not just for the actors, for camera as well. We actually planned for a much larger fight scene that had to be cut due to timing, so we had to make up a new ending on the day of the shoot which leads us into production. For this project, we shot on the C100 Mark II paired with the various Canon zoom lenses. As for audio, we used my Tascam DR100 Mark III along with the Rode video mic and the Sennheiser MKE600. Now we know how important audio is, so we really focused on having good audio, which meant a lot of Foley. Footsteps, jeans, jackets, cable sounds, boom pole sounds, to even scratching. There was a lot, a lot of Foley. Yes, audio is very important, but so is editing. To mush together this short film, I use Premiere Pro, along with After Effects to accomplish all the VFX shots. If you enjoyed the short film or this behind the scenes, even in the slightest, you should consider voting. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching the behind the scenes of Fight No Flight for Film.